Good morning, folks. We've got some articles today and a big thank you from me to you. But we have to begin with space weather because, as always, the Internet is taking last night's event and running amok in absolutely crazy ways. We did get a solar flare at M-class range last night. And as is with every time this happens, people are screaming about a massive solar flare and power grids about to go down. No. An M-class flare is not the highest level. That would be X-class. And this one was impulsive not a long duration, which means no big coronal mass ejection, and even if there had been one, it's not directly facing Earth, didn't fire plasma at our planet. Yes, it was gorgeous, but it's 100% nothing to fear. We've got an ionospheric radio blackout that happened during the event, but that's all we will see from this event. Still going to monitor the sunspot group as it will be facing Earth the middle of this week. I do want to mention the solar wind amplification overnight, increased magnetic pressure resulting from increased plasma density in the solar wind, and a magnetic field change as well. Still very minor this morning, but if it continues, we could see a low-level geomagnetic storm from it. Before we get into the articles, big thank you to everyone here. We hit 200 million views on the channel, and I am humbled by your support. Just as cool is the total watch time of 1,500 years. You guys have combined for an entire Dansgaard Oshker cycle of watch time of these videos, which is pretty darn cool. Let's go to super shear earthquakes. These are the tremendously damaging ones where the movement of the ground is faster than the shear waves produced, with incredible ground shaking. In looking at the record from the first 20 years of the millennium, they found a larger number of these quakes than in the past and from what is predicted by fracture models. Maybe it was an active 20 years, or maybe it was part of the subtle increase in seismicity that's expected as Earth's magnetic field weakens and geosystems begin to destabilize. Last item today is a look at geomagnetic excursions and an excellent reminder that they're never visible across the entire world's geomagnetic record. They hit some areas harder than others. Even Le Champ, which is the worst of the last 100,000 years, isn't visible everywhere. Interestingly, although they miss Gothenburg, Lake Mungo, and the Vostok events in this one while picking up Mono Lake, Le Champ, and Blake, this record, which comes only from the Northwest Atlantic, shows a periodicity of 30,000 years to these magnetic pole shifts, and the last one they picked up was 30,000 years ago. So even while confined in geolocation and therefore missing many of the events, they still somehow managed to show the timing is due again right now. We greatly appreciate your support. Want to plug our children's books to celebrate the 200 million view mark? Get them at the link below the video. Investment in our children. One of the few things rated to survive a solar micronova and magnetic reversal. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.